1,000 feet, the airspeed is at 60 knots. At 2,000 feet, the airspeed is 80 knots. The nose comes off the ground. And from left to right, we're proud to show you the exciting new Piper Jet. Piper has entered a new era in its history. We are finally into the jet age. We have our first jet aircraft, and it's an extremely exciting time for us. Goosebumps go down my spine because we're participating in a time of great change for the company, and it's a time where everyone is thrilled about being part of the story here at Piper. And I feel honored just to, to be able to lead a team of wonderful people that I work with every day. It's a time where we are truly looking into the future and seeing the development of a new type of aircraft, but also what implications it has for our company and our entire product line. Recently with the success of the Matrix and the strength of the Meridian and the heritage that we bring to the new product, there is a sense of renewed hope at Piper and we're all very excited to be part of that. There's no question that the Piper Jet is going to be an airplane to appeal to the owner phone market. That's the way the airplane was designed and developed in the first place. Obviously a trade-up airplane for people flying single-engine turboprops. But the more uh, interesting emerging market for the Piper Jet is as a baseline entry-level business airplane. Let's face it, jet fuel is getting expensive and uh, it's plentiful, plentiful around the world, but it's expensive. Having one engine instead of two is just going to save gas. And the Piper Jet is emerging as a business airplane that pilots can own and operate for a business, not necessarily owner flown, but professionally flown. At the shows that we've been to, we've talked to a lot of Piper Jet prospects who are not pilots, but they have their professional pilot with them. And they're talking to us about purchasing a Piper Jet and sitting in the back and being flown around on business by a professionally crewed air, a pilot. That, that to us is a very interesting market. Business aviation is going to have to look at every dollar spent and, and how it's spent efficiently. Uh, having a single engine airplane that still has the performance and comfort of a big airplane is really, really important for, uh, for business community. And I think the emerging market, Piper Jet and other single engine jet airplanes, can be a viable alternative to the big corporate iron that fly around with one or two people inside and burn a ton of gas. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Well, so far on the test program with the Piper Jet, we currently have 55 hours on the airplane, the, on the proof of concept aircraft. Um, we've been looking at a lot of the um, handling qualities of the airplanes, the stability and control from um, 10,000 feet up to um, 17,500 feet. From here, um, for the next 100 hours or 150 hours on the airplane, we're going to be opening up the airspeed envelope on the airplane. Currently, we have a limitation of 160 knots. Shortly, we're going to be opening up that airspeed to 240 knots. Um, the altitude, the highest altitude we've been so far has been to 23,000 feet and we're going to open that up to 25,000 feet. Once we get up there, we'll, we'll get the airplane in a more conforming installation. We'll start looking at some cruise performance, some climb performance, and um, descent performance. 
so far there's been no surprises with the airplane. Um, it's been handling very well. We're very pleased with the design and we feel that they're going forward with the test program is going to be a very smooth program. We're going to make the transition from a Matrix, Malibu and a Meridian as effortlessly as possible. We're going to make sure that the control system harmonization is just like a Meridian or a Malibu so that when he transitions into the airplane it's going to be like sitting at home again in a Piper product. The airplane has exceeded all of our expectations. Um, we did so much work and analysis up front that we had many months to fly the simulator and the actual airplane has turned out to be quite a bit better than the simulator. It's been very enjoyable. As we roll into the conforming prototypes, we'll have three airplanes. We'll have a uh, handling qualities aircraft, performance aircraft is one, systems aircraft, and an avionics aircraft. And you know, the, even though the airplane looks different, it's a very straightforward turbine aircraft. So I don't expect anything unusual in the certification process itself. It's something that many of us here at Piper and at other companies have done many times before. So it'll be a very straightforward process. If there's one thing about the few hours we've flown in the Piper jet, it is definitely simpler to fly than even the Matrix, Malibu, Mirage, and the Meridian. It's just a very simple aircraft. Okay, we are cleared for our approach. Have our Garmin GPS set up to fly the LPV. And look, here comes the glide path. Now you're probably wondering how we can intercept a glide path when there's no ILS on the field. Well, hey, that's the beauty of WASP GPS. No ILS, no localizer, no problem. WASP gives us full vertical guidance even without ground-based navigation. Okay, next you're probably wondering why there's spit all over your side of the windshield. Through all of our testing, we have seen an aircraft that's performed beyond our expectations. Additionally, we have designed this aircraft with facets that we believe can be used in our other aircraft. Uh, also, the aircraft has been designed with a sense of modularity that will allow us to expand into future market requirements. We, uh, we tend to be somewhat conservative in the way we approach both our design and the way we approach going to market. We'd rather prove to the people out there that we deserve them to, to look at our products and to respect what we've done through the performance of, of what we've been able to achieve. And so we think by showing the Piper Jet, by announcing the Matrix, by continuing to improve our products and services, that's the way to win customers and the marketplace, by actually doing as opposed to talking. Exciting for us at NBAA. We'll have the airplane, the actual flying airplane, inside the exhibit hall at NBAA this year. And as you know, our message will be to, the, to, the, to NBAA and to the people that attend is we have a jet airplane now. We're in the jet airplane business. We've done this for 71 years, delivered 144,000 airplanes. We've delivered and on promises for numerous type certificates. We're not only a company that has a dream, but we have a plan. Here's the Piper Jet take a look at the real airplane inside the exhibit hall and know that we know what we're doing and when we say we're going to take three years to get a type certificate and we say we're going to deliver 50 airplanes in the first year we're a company that can deliver on our word.